Hello everyone, this is uh, Dr. Lennon, and we are going to do the fourth problem on chapter 8. So this is the last one I'll be providing you a video for. Um, so it's uh, some linear regression forecasting, but this time we're going to involve some dummy variables because we're not only going to be looking at the year, we've got a cross tabulation based on the year and the quarter. Um, so the first one is straightforward, you just compute a line uh, graph to see the series data, the same as we have for all the other ones, uh, this one we're hoping to maybe see some seasonal data based on the quarters. So um, I will leave that part to you. That's pretty straightforward. And we will work on the, so you know, you just highlight, you put all the data into an Excel document uh, as I have here. So I have the data, I have the quarters, and I have the year. And uh, to do it, you just highlight this and then insert the appropriate chart. But let's look at the some of the more interesting questions. Um, uh, so the uh, multiple regression with dummy variables. So it wants us to introduce dummy variables, one for quarter one, zero otherwise, two for quarter two, zero otherwise, and three for quarter three. And then we don't actually even have one for quarter four. So zero, zero, zero will correspond to quarter four. So in Excel, that's what I've done. I've created quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. And basically, um, if this equals a quarter one, we can enter, we will enter a one here, and then um, a zero for the other two places. And when it's quarter two, we'll enter a 0 for quarter 1, a 1 for quarter 2, and a 0 for quarter 3. So you can kind of think this as, is it, does the quarter match the column? If it does, we type a 1. If it does not, we type a 0. So I'm just going to fill the rest of these in. Um, you could not do this manually if you wanted, and you would, uh, in effect, just be using some count if uh, statements. But uh, there's only 12 points, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way on this one and type them in. Um, so not too difficult. Um, so quarter two, that's where we're at. Um, zero. And then quarter three, so we want a zero, a zero, a one. And then quarter four is all zeros. And quarter one again, so we have a one here. Whoops, a zero here and a zero in the last one, then quarter two, zero, one, zero. Oh, so I got off zero, one, zero. Don't want anything in that guy. Uh, zero, zero, one, and then zero, zero, zero. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna forecast this using a multiple regression model. So we're gonna try and predict the data with each of these dummy variable quarters as the uh, input variables. So again, uh, go to data, we're gonna use our data analysis ribbon, um, and we're going to choose uh, the regression option, the way we did for linear regression earlier. Um, the input range, so this is the independent variable, the dependent variable, that's the data. So let's include the labels. And then the input range is all three of the quarter dummy variables that we created. Um, and that's it actually to do the uh, to do the regression. Okay, so then we get these values and we get uh, beta zero, beta one, beta two, and beta three. So um, this is our formula that we're going to use to forecast. So six point uh, six repeating minus one minus three and minus two. So let's go back to part one this tab. So we're going to do equals. Um, and I think a six point, let's use a bunch of variables, let's say, um, or a bunch of decimal places plus, and the first one was uh, minus one times quarter one. So we go to uh, minus one times the quarter one value. And then uh, maybe I should put parentheses there. Looks a little funny. Okay, great. Um, I don't know how that keeps getting in there. Minus 1 times beta 0. Oh, because I keep going back. I believe it's minus 3 and minus 2, so uh, let me click away from that. Um, minus 3 and minus 2 are the other two. So uh, we're, let's alter this formula. So then we're going to do plus a negative 2 times the quarter 2 value. Uh, D2. Oh, this should be E2. So 
I've already screwed up the formula. Let's see. So it should have been minus 1 times d2, the dummy variable there, not b2. So let's change that to d2. Okay, so minus 1 times d2 plus minus 2 times e2. Um, gosh, I think I'm going to make sure I didn't forget this already. Um, sheet 7, minus 1, minus 3, minus 2. I knew I typed in the wrong number. So uh, this should be a minus 3 also. And then um, we just have the last one to do. So plus, and then we need a negative 2 for this one. And we're multiplying that by the quarter 3 dummy variable. Okay, there we go. So now we actually get the forecast. And then copy all that down. Forecast error, as usual, is just going to be the uh, data value minus the forecasted value. Hit enter. And then we copy all that down. And then to square it, we just do the adjacent cell squared. And copy each of those points down. And then remember the MSC is just the average of that column. So average. Okay, there we go. And let's do this. So 1.8 repeating is what we get there. So let's go back to mind tap and see what we got. Oh, we have to enter all these values. So they say round to how many three decimal places? 6.667. Then we have a minus 1, a minus 3, and a minus 2. And then uh, they want us to forecast for the next year based on the model. So to forecast, we're just going to forecast the next four spots. Uh, so again, uh, I'm going to have to insert a couple rows here because I didn't leave myself enough room. Um, okay, so that should do the job. So this would be year four. If we were going to make it, then quarter one, two, three. Let me insert just two more rows. Just getting a little log jammed. Uh, okay, three and four. And then, um, again, we're going to have to... Um, this is based on these quarters, so again we'll have a 1, 0, 0, a 0, 1, 0, a 0, 0, 1, and a row with all zeros. Okay, so then we get the forecast 5.67, 3.67, 4.67, and 6.67. Um, so let's enter those 5, 3, 4, 6. So. 5.67, 3.67, and 6.67. Up three decimal places, of course, so we just need to add some sixes in the middle. Okay, so that's the first part. Let's check and see if we got this right. And we got all the ones we entered correct, so that's good. Again, I'm leaving the time series to you. Let's do the next one. So what does it say to do? It says we want to add a fourth variable, basically, for a multiple regression, a t variable, where it's just counting up. So quarter one is one, quarter two. Then when you get to, say, year two, quarter one, that's going to be five. So um, I've actually already created a sheet with that data. So um, instead of the quarters counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, they're going to count again. So I have part two down here. And I've got the year, the quarter, and then these count from one up through 12. And then again, we have to turn all these on, but uh, I've already done that over here, so you know we might as well reuse the work. So I'm just going to copy and paste that into part two right here. Um, that way, if we need to forecast ahead, we're going to be OK. Um, then let's do the multiple regression. Uh, let me move this somewhere else, a little bit farther down. Um, so the forecast here. Again, we're going to want to do a multiple regression. So we do the multiple regression. Um, we want our Y range to be the uh, the data right here. Uh, we want to include the labels uh, so it looks a little cleaner. And then the input X range, uh, we want to be, uh, so maybe I should have switched these two. I wonder if I can switch this. Um, data and then the X range Let's see if we can do two just joined ranges
Okay, so I've done that. Uh, I highlighted them separately. That's all you have to do is hold control, let go, and then highlight the other area. And this should give us our regression, um, provided I didn't mess something up. Uh, nope, it says it must be a continuous reference. So that means that we're going to have to switch these two uh, data and t values. So let me just insert. Um, so let's cancel this for now. Cancel this. Let's insert a column right here. Let's move the data column over one. And let's delete this column. Okay, so let's try the regression again. So the input range is going to be the data value. And then the output range will be these values right here. Then click OK. And there we go. We got it. So we got the four values. Um, let's go ahead and go over to MindTap and enter these values. Um, so 3.417, if we round to 3. Uh, how many decimal places does it say? Three decimal places, there we go. 3.147 for the first one. Uh, 0.406 for T. So T's over here, 0 0.406. Uh, let's look at Q1. Q1 is 0.219. Q2 is uh, minus 2.188. Q3 is minus 1.594. So that's it. Um, let's see. Uh, the quarter is zero, uh, so we'll fill in these forecasts in a second because um, we have to enter this formula. Let's see. So back to Excel. We have to now enter this formula on our part two sheet. So this stuff's useful, so I'm going to copy it. These are the values we need to know. Uh, let's go down to uh, part two. And then the forecast, I'm going to copy these down here so I remember. So equals um, this number times, uh, no, no, that's the intercept. So we just do plus uh, this number times uh, t plus this number times q1 plus this number times Q2 plus the last number times Q3. Did I get an extra number in there somehow? Let's look back at the intercept. Oh, there should be f four variables in the intercept. Did I copy them all? So part two, I have the four numbers and the intercept. So did I start by adding H21? Sure did. Um, H22 times D2. H... Oh, oh, so I still have one more. Uh, H25. Yeah, okay. So we're okay, we're okay. We just didn't do the last one. Uh, H24 times... I forgot to multiply it by F2. That's what happened. Okay, there we go. Multiply it by F2. And then we add the last one. Uh, the last number times uh, Q3. Uh, part 2, what are you doing? Okay, and then this one. Oh, it's putting these in somehow. Okay, H25 times G. Oh, we want G2, not G3. I'm just doing this every time. Adding part 2. Okay, so G2. So we're good. We got these multiplied by these. We're all set. Hit enter. There's our forecasted value. I'll just drag it down. Uh, am I doing the right values here? I hope so. Seems kind of off. To, every time we get this one zero. 